Hoo-wee, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. So, I'm bringing you, it's kind of like a uh, a budget piece, but kind of a, like a, a higher end of the budget value, somewhere in the, I think they're in the $50 range. Um, it's made by Timberwolf. It's this guy right here, the TW1186, right? And it's this thing, the Buffalo Bill Bowie Knife, limited edition, da 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 I think you can get get these kind of things at um, uh, either Smoky Mountain Knife Works or like Bud K, things like that. You might even be able to eBay them. Uh, they have a whole bunch of different knives, and um, they just put on different uh, like um, stars and stripes, presidentials, things like that. You know, all kinds of cool stuff that you could put on a knife to make it all artsy fartsy. And it's not every day the guy wearing the hundred dollar Tommy Bahama shirt does a budget knife and says artsy farts it but this is who we are <laughs> so uh this thing I brought out a different one and a, like a an American pledge one I can't remember which one it was but um it worked really well it worked really well so I had this thing sitting around and totally forgot about it, it was sitting in in its box literally just sitting in the library chilling and I said I think it's about time we unchill it so I wanted to bring it out and really get a good look at it. Um, the sheath itself is a nice sheath. It's pretty decent. It definitely, definitely does the job. I like it there. Whoo wee The knife feels great, as all of the Timberwolves do. Um, they have a really good feel in the hand. Um, it is stainless steel. Uh, it just says on it the TW1186, made in China. Um, Timberwolf, da-da-da-da-da. And you can see there the art on the blade is actually really well done. It's very, very nice. Oh, yeah. And it's even got the old 58 there. That's just sweet. 44 caliber. Um, let's see. It says off T Brokey Buffalo. I have no idea what that says. But it does have Buffalo Bill on it. And it's got some mountains. And it's got a picture of Buffalo Bill. Oh, right about you. Yeah. So, um, so it's not bad, man. There's there are stats on this thing, right? The back of the box, the whole box is um is like a collectible type box. You got Buffalo Bill right there. Um, if you ever seen his the like things about the Buffalo Bill um shows that he used to put on, the guy was just that's what he was. He was a showman. Oh, there's even a a sweet Buffalo inlay right there on the bone grips, which are actually pretty well done. I mean, for when you're talking about like a 50-ish dollar piece, um, it's not bad. So it talks about paying tribute to the American icon who could never resist the call of the trail. That's a quote. Um, it's full tang, obviously. Keenly sharp, we'll figure it out. Uh, ten and a half inch steel blade. I'm assuming it's like a 440. Uh, Buffalo Bill's laser etched artwork. Signature, da-da-da-da-da um scales are crafted of rich dark brown wood and natural look bone so it's a faux bone but it really does look like bone so they did a good job on the natural look and accented with a buffalo medallion and brass spacers 15 and a half inches overall slides like a glove into its premium leather belt sheath for storage and carry collector's items so don't ruin these um and also being a collector's item, it's probably not the kind of thing you want to go out and baton with or hit with. But this is a knife channel, damn it. We're going to go hit with it. Let's go outside. So the first thing you'll notice about this knife is it's not being used in the rain. Hey, look at that. Somebody actually asked me after like the last video. They said, does it always rain there? Is it always raining? And I said, we, not always, but we do get a lot of rain. Um, happens to be a beautiful 55-ish degrees right now. Nice and sunny here in November in Massachusetts. Let's uh, bring you guys, bring you guys down to the right level, so we can uh, we can get going. That's the right spot. So let's start with some uh, let's start with some four foot drops. And we'll see the balance of this finely crafted piece of uh, thing. It even has a lanyard hole, which I just noticed with a brass pin in it. Boop. Let's do a couple of. Uh, that's got some bite, fellas, because of the weight. That weight just makes it sink, man. 
Um, let's do a couple hard downward throws and we'll see if the scale is loosened. Boom! Did you hear that? Golly! Bam! That thing hits like a brick. So let's figure out if this keenly sharpened edge is keenly sharpened. Um, we're gonna try a push cut and it does have a nice flat ricasso. So we're gonna try that first. And wow, okay, so it push cut pretty good and then I just sawed off the rest. So it's sharp enough for a straight cut. Let's see how it handles against the, uh, against the uh, cord here. Boop, extension cord. And then it rolled off and hit me in the leg, but I didn't die, so we're okay. That was as clean as clean can be. Did the metals give any chipping? No, they did not. Everything looks fine. Let's see if four layers of leather belt can be shaved with it. Wow. All right, so this is one that this is one of the tests that I didn't expect. I didn't think that it was going to be able to, um, to slice through that. Um, and it didn't do it perfectly, but it did it good enough to work fully. And that happens. Remember, there's artwork on the blade, so you probably don't want to dive your knife into a tire. Um, usually not one of those things that you're going to be doing. So let's see here. Let's see what we can see to see. Let's take some of this down here. Oop, got that in the way. Look at this. I mean, the knife knifes. It knifes. And uh, all the um, the timber wolf buoys of this shape and size and style that I've done so far have all actually performed really well. And and even the one that has the stars inlaid in the handle, um, I haven't lost a single star yet, which is pretty good. But um, I mean, it knifes. It really knifes. So am I going to be able to use this decorative piece of don't use it as um as a camp blade absolutely absolutely until it fails me i would find no reason not to be able to use it for stuff like that um the thing works it works can i feather stick with a big 10 and a half inch blade or whatever it is absolutely let's see let's see if we can get some pulls on the side grip here let's see this thing it's a buoy that buoys it's a knife that knifes and that when you're talking about you know is it good that's all you need to know that's all you need to know is can the knife knife let's find something to baton with because it's a collector's edition so uh i'm gonna find a nice big piece because we got a nice big blade here we go you guys are watching a one dog pee and one dog just stand there looking like an idiot at least i gave you something to do all right, here we go. Let's try and get through some of this here. Yeah, baby. Hey, I can still read the art. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's on there. It's on there pretty good. All right, we got a knot. So let's see how this edge does performing through the knot. Let's see if there's any warping. When you're talking about a, usually a budget blade, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get warps when you do stuff like this, when you're talking about hard impact. And um, I got no warping. And the edge it doesn't feel touched actually. That's, um, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. A lot of people like to say, oh, if it's made in China, it's automatically garbage. Really? I don't know. Most of the people that do that text it to me from their phones made in China. Kind of seems like the thing that you need to survive on the most. Your uh, ability to, to reach out and touch someone to call for emergencies. Seems like you, you trust that made from China, but you won't trust a piece of sharpened steel. That boggles my mind, man. I don't care where it's made or who makes it. If it's done right, it's done right. If it knifes, it knifes. Let's see. Made in China. Obviously can't do what I'm doing. Well, it did. So, um, let's see. <laughs> I can still read it. Um, so far, no tang breakage. 
Um, I have no cracking in the scales. I have no loosening in the scales. I have no loosening in the guard. The edge is still right there. Um, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Um, made in China, boys. Made in China, boys. So let's see. Let's see what else we can do with it. Let's see what else we can do with it. Let's have a little play time. Um, you know, even the uh, the little buffalo is still on there. If I, I thought if anything was going to go, it was going to be that. You know, I thought I was going to lose a little buffalo. I got a little one-inch forest tree growing here. I didn't see. Well, there that goes. So let's see if we can get a little a little skinning in. I got to be able to lift it up first. All right, here we go. Is it going to be able to use to rip and tear? Absolutely. Abso freaking lutely. I don't even know if that was in the film, but let's see. Golly. So obviously, it cuts right through. It cuts right through materials, things like that. It's going to be able to baton, things like that. It's going to be able to cut extension cords because that's totally important in your regular life. It is strong enough to get some bite into a log and pick it up without breaking and then drop it sideways onto some other logs, which I didn't mean to do. And it's still not loosened. And that right there, if this was a really cheap piece of garbage, that should have damaged something, but it didn't. So I have to say I'm pleased with that. Let's move you guys right here. I think you look good there. I think you guys are all handsome, except you and maybe you. Um, but the rest of you, you look good. All right, so let's get a couple whacks of this thing. Woo! Those kicks right up in my face. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So this made in China, nobody would ever trust it with their life because it's made in China. Buoy is digging its way to China. Um, this thing so far is proving to be one thing and one thing only. A knife. It knifes. Guys, don't let the don't let the steel snobs or the knife snobs talk you out of something that you love or something that you think you love or you're interested in loving. Whatever. Don't let them talk you out of it because they tell you they know more about steel or they know more about this or because it's just not, if it's not made here, it's just not good. Don't let them dictate how you shop, what you carry. Don't let it happen. If the knife knifes, it freaking knifes and that's all you need to know. And some people just have so much hate and prejudice that they dictate whether something is good by the shape of the eyes of the people who made it. And I'll tell you what, that's no bueno, man. These guys have been doing this for thousands of years before we were even a country. So I'm pretty sure at least one of them, at least one of them read the recipe that's been handed down from old Grandpa Knife Maker. Right? So, I don't know. My thing is, I give it a chance. You know, if it's, I don't care if it's, made in a hut in Indonesia somewhere, you know, by a, a three-legged, no-armed dwarf named Schnitzenschno. Um, I just don't care. I just don't care. If they do a good job, they do a good job. And where, where I'm going to start saying, hey, don't buy this, it's garbage, is if it becomes garbage or, or it works like garbage or it feels like garbage. I can't tell you that a product isn't worth buying if it's worth buying. I can't, I'm not going to lie to you and I'm not going to tell you that it all, a product is only good depending on where it's made. That's bull crap. I'm going to tell you right now. So don't let people do that to you. Hold on a second. Set up a little target. Let's see if we can throw this big beast. <laughs> First try. Um, that was, uh, I threw it low, but man, it caught just enough to stick and stick really, really good. Um, that's not bad at all. 
So, that there's a buoy, mister. Woo wee buoy. Um, I have to say that, uh, like, like the other Timberwolf, uh, cheap buoys that I bought, it works. Would I be able to go into the woods and come out of the woods alive if this was my knife? Yup. Um, does it really matter who made it? No. I don't care if it was machine made or handmade. If it knifes, it knifes. Do I prefer a handmade knife made by a master's? Yup. Do, do I really think that if I got attacked, I wouldn't be able to defend myself with something that was made on a machine by some guy who just filled out an application? No. I'll tell you what, I'll throw sand in your eyes and kick a hole in your chest with no weapon at all. And then you're going to wonder, well, good thing he, did, he didn't have a knife. So, but I always have a knife. So, I mean, so that's it. This knife, this knife is, is exactly what it, it's supposed to be. It's a decorative, beautiful, like historical representation. And it's a collector's piece. But more than that, it's a collector's piece that you could trust your life on if the proverbial shit hit the fan. You can actually use this knife and make it through whatever you have to make it through. And that's not me being nice or me being generous. That's fact. That's fact. And I and I don't just tell you, I show you. That's the difference. When you talk about like choir boys cutlery with scab, who's on his way to 5,000 subs, let's sub scab. Um, we use these things. We put them through their paces. We hammer on them. We hit them hard. We drop them sideways, sticking in a log onto another log. Um, accident. Um, but we do that kind of stuff because we want to know for ourselves if the knife is going to work. But also, we want to know for you. Because if somebody is telling you not to buy it who doesn't do what we do, then can you really trust it? You know? I mean, I can't. I can't, I can't trust somebody telling me something's good or bad who's A, never used it, B, never held it, or C, just is talking, is saying it's not worth it because of where it's made. You don't know that. You don't know anything about that. So let's just, let's just dump all that, you know, assumptions and, and you know, that, that thought process that it's junk if it's not made in a certain place by a certain someone. I, I have a message for you. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I have a message. Sorry, I had to clean that. Um, but anyway, here it is. The TW1186 by Timberwolf. Um, and even if you can't find this model, there are other models just like it with different print and different art on them. That it's the same exact blade with different art and different handles. So you can pretty much guess how that thing's going to handle. Um, not bad. Not bad. The knife freaking knives. Hi, I'm Donnie B. All day. And until next knife.